Josh Hart, Al. Josh Hart. So he opts into the deal, right, at 12.6, 12.9 million. That was a player option. He figured that he was. Once they extended the deadline, you knew there was a reason for that. Knicks were trying to work that work in in the opt-in, probably try to figure out the cap ramifications, wait till the official CBA comes out, study the numbers and figure it out. They end up extending the deadline for him to opt in. He opts in, which means that this year, see, this season, he's going to be making that 12.9. So he's going to be getting underpaid compared to his peers. That allowed the Knicks to set up the DiVincenzo pickup. What I thought from that point, because the speculation was that if he had opted out and and redid the deal this year, he would have gotten, say, around like 17, 16, 17, right? Not confirmed, but that's that's what a lot of the, the, the people have put out there. But for him to now give the Knicks a deal here, help them out, sacrificing to bring DiVincenzo in here, I was under, I'm under the impression that they're going to take care of him and he's going to get closer to 20 come the renegotiation time. And it just so happened that when, on the NBA report, when we spoke to our guy, Danny Morang of the Jack Ramsey's podcast, covers the Portland Trailblazers, covered Josh Hart, he too felt and heard that it's, it's you know, an unkept secret here. That Josh Hart is going to be getting close to 20 bags when it's when the smoke clears. So, very interesting, man. Very interesting. Your, your thoughts on that? I mean, look, they traded a first rounder for him. You're going to want to extend him. You don't want to just trade an asset and not have anyone replace him, right? So that's that point. The next one is, uh, this is a guy that Tib likes, right? If you, even if you're not Tom Thibodeau, this is just a, he's a really good role player that any team would want. That's why he's been traded so often, not for the fact that nobody wants him and he's just a good filler for a trade. It's the fact that New Orleans, Portland, yeah, they're all like, okay, this is somebody that we can utilize because what he gives us is all the gritty work that somebody else probably won't do on the team, right? His hustle, his rebounding. Um, his ability to attack and transition. So it only makes sense that he is going to get paid. On top of that, he's boys with Brunson. He's boys with DiVincenzo. These guys are now here for a good amount of time, right? Now you look at the deal that DiVincenzo got. You think that quickly he's going to be due for an extension. Uh, he's due for an extension right now. He could get an extension, but it's no it's no guarantee that he'll be on the team this uh, this uh, this this season or even the next season, man. Right, he there could be another deal looming. Although I'd probably expect the Knicks to do an in-season trade rather than one to begin the season, unless there's something that they can't pass up. But let's just say, you know, you you have this, you you already have this gluttony of guards, right? Maybe quickly is not going to be around much longer. Maybe Grimes is not going to be around much longer. Not saying I want it to happen. I'm just saying if you just look at from how this team is constructed right now with all the guards. There's not enough playing time for everybody. They're going to be playing small this year, I think, just to accommodate. But I think moving forward, they're going to like, I think this team is going to move in the direction of getting more, you know, wingspan on this team, more height, right? To be more versatile. So you sign someone like DiVincenzo, you have Jalen Brunson, boys with Josh Hart. You think that you move someone like quickly and Grimes out of the way, right? If you're this team and you can extend Josh Hart and there's the money, right? There's the money that you're talking about to say, hey, we can give this guy. 20 bags annually yeah. for the next upcoming years because we don't have these guys anymore. We're able to move them. Maybe get some rookies in here after you trade them, get some draft picks, rookie scale contracts. That's how that's how I see it as with, with Josh Hart right now. I think that's their thinking w- with him. 